1947, soon after World War II, the British partitioned India, tearing the ancient civilization and land into three parts. India flanked by West Pakistan and East Pakistan, 1,000 miles apart. Hindus and Muslims who had lived together for centuries slaughtered each other as the British fanned the religious divide in their quest to divide and rule. This set the scene for Salman Rushdie's Midnight Children, kids born on the wrong side of the border. One such child was Tariq Fatah, born on the 20th of November 1949 in Karachi in the province of Sindh. Hindustan ka bedagar karne ke baad, teen hisse mein usko baatne ke andar. Angrez aur Muslim League ne jo jate ved humare saath hashar kiya, abhi tak humne uska अंग्रेज से निकाह के तुम माफी मांगो जिना साहब ने इंडिया का बेड़ागर करने के बाद उनको खाना हजम नहीं हुआ उन्होंने इंडियन स्टेट ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर पे इन्वेजन की और पाकिस्तान आर्मी के सोल्जर्स को सिविलियन यूनिफॉर्म में भेजा वो लूट मार हुई वो कत्लेआम हुआ और या 2019 20 आने कि पूरे पाकिस्तान ऑक्युपाइड कश्मीर के अंदर देर इज नॉट अ सिंगल पर्सन दैट स्पीक्स द कश्मीरी लैंग्वेज मेरी शुरुआत उस जगह से हुई जिसे हिंदुस्तान के नेशनल एंथम में जिसका जिक्र है पंजाब सिंध okay. अगला वर्ड क्या है गुजरात मराठा तो वो पंजाब तो हो गया सिंध कहाँ गया आपका सिंध कहाँ गया सिंधु सिंधु है आपकी नेशनल चैंपियन जो भी बैडमिंटन में जीती है ना सिंधु पूरे हिंदुस्तान में किसी को नहीं आकल आई कि वो सिंधु क्यों है सिंधु है क्या तो हम सिंध की पैदाइश है अडवाणी साहब के शहर कराची में पैदा हुए 1949 में ओके okay. अडवाणी साहब गए हिंदुस्तान हमारे मां बाप मुंबई से जहाज में समुद्री जहाज में बैठ के कराची शरीफ आए हम्म ये बात बताइए कि आपका 47 का जो एक्सपीरियंस था 47 में मेरे पेरेंट्स निकले मुंबई से अच्छा ना मेरे बाप को आने का शौक था ना मेरे ताया को जो इंडियन नेवी में ही वाज कमांडर एट दैट टाइम सो ही जॉइन द रॉयल पाकिस्तान नेवी माय फादर डिन वांट टू कम ही वाज एन एलिगेरियन ही वाज एसोसिएटेड विद बॉलीवुड हिज फ्रेंड्स वर नरगिस अजीत आपके वो जो सॉर्ट्समैन थे आईएस जोहार ये मोहम्मद रफी इन लोगों के सर्कल से बाप ने उठा के हु वाज द फ्रेंच काउंसिल जनरल इन इंडिया ओके आई वाज अ फ्रेंच आर्मी कर्नल ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वॉर ओके ही हैड अ बिजनेस जिसमें पूरे इंडियन रेलवेज की जो फ्लोरिंग थी ही हैड अ पैटेंट ऑफ सीमेंट दैट वाज कॉल्ड ऑक्सीक्लोराइड एंड अब भी मुंबई में है ऑक्सीक्लोराइड फ्लोरिंग कंपनी but because uh, of partition, the Pakistani railways got split. Okay. The Northwestern Railway thi wo Pakistan mein aayi. To unhon ne apne bete Sharif ko kaha ki bhaiya hum wahan pe bhi factory lagani padegi. Hmm. To ek ek bete to unka navy mein tha. Dusra bete jo brilliant artist, sketch hmm. artist, amazing singer. He would have sung uh, in Bollywood, really? but my grandfather uh, insisted that Marasiyan the kam mein. I said, if you don't have any work, go and go and sing. Go and sing. Go and sing. But anyway, my father came to Pakistan and never really settled. He was not happy inside, right? I think his friends were cut off. Yeah. His circle. And my mother was very orthodox. She was from Lahore. Oh. And tough woman. And like she never allowed my father to drink at home. Okay. And so my father always had to go out. out to drink and that means he came home drunk, which means it's bad for It's me. bad. Yeah, it's, a, yeah. it's a typical Punjabi woman's 
answer to mm. a problem. But I'm sure your mom was happy when she. She was. She was never happy. Yeah. So you were. I born was in born Pakistan. in immense wealth. Okay. There were about 36 cars in Karachi in 1947, mm. out of which three were parked at my father's home. What did your father do? He uh, set up the oxychloride flooring so company. So that was his major that was business. Okay. But he was not in his form. He 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 never. He had great friends, mm. which some of. Uh, their children are uh, in Canada, Goans, Zoroastrians. Mm. Our home was always a place where uh, a dozen people were there every night. It was a beautiful home with a front yard. We had a chauffeur driven uh, uh, Afridi Pashtun from Bombay who had come with us. Wow. Uh, but in a matter of five years, I would say. By the time I was born, mm. and 51, 52, we were close to bankruptcy. Why? When uh, losing money, uh, father not really uh, knowing how to conduct business, a lot of money was ruined, but the government of Pakistan did not have arms and ammunition for the first anniversary, and my grandfather being in Mumbai hmm. or Bombay had paid for 16 lakh rupees at that time for armaments that were brought in from France by abandoned uh, okay. uh, arms depots for the Pakistan military. Oh my God. And that was obviously then got the in Indian government got to know and his property was then See. confiscated mm. uh, as an intending evacuee. Okay. Which meant that my grandmother, who was a Congressite, mm. my grandfather was a Muslim leader, and some of the partners <coughs> kept the Indian part of the business. Okay. And the Pakistani part of the business, my grandfather died in Pakistan, he was visiting. And there was a split. So the trademark mm. which the railways had accepted, uh, the in my, my grandmother and her partners would not share it with my father. So the, the business went down. I think he was emotionally also not there. He was not. The so when you are under stress, you can't do. You can't do well in life, right? You you can't when you are ripped off. No. And uh, if you are middle class, you can settle anywhere. Yeah. But if you are from a property class. So uh, when did it ha start happening? When did your father's business start? I was. Um, How uh, old I, you? I think I was three. I remember when we lost a house. Mm. And I was sitting with my sister, who's one year older to me, and she said, we're going to a new house. And I was very excited. And I saw my mum crying, I still see, sobbing away. With, she had a piece of paper in her hand, and my dad was sitting, and there were some other relatives. And somehow my father had missed the court dates, mm -hmm. so there was an eviction order. Um, in 47, you could take anyone's house, you felt like, if they were Hindu. Absolutely. Yeah. So the Hindus had left and a lot of people who came from UP had claims. Mm. So they would have, like you could get a degree. Mm. There were four or five people authorized mm. to say that such and such person lost his degree while migrating to Pakistan and they would get the degree. Oh, wow. so, and the local people so you could make up a degree then? Most of these people made up degrees. Did they become doctors? No, they lawyers. became civil servants. Nobody wanted to be a doctor. Yeah, of course they had They to became civil they servants, to. babus, and uh, purely out of carelessness, mm. lost a palatial home. That, that next day, I remember there were f five camel carts in front of a house mm. with furniture loaded on it and no place to go. Mm seared in my mind mm. uh, because from the night before when we were excited to the do dawning of the re uh, realization that we were leaving that home that be it was, that was magnificent it had a swimming memories, pool yeah. in which I drowned it had a driveway in which a car ran over so by the before my first birthday I had my legs cut off oh my god so Trauma is my middle name. <laughs> oh my
Yeah, so uh, the conflict within the home. Your mom, you mean to say? Yeah, with an orthodox, educated, she she was a matriculate. At that time, at matriculate that time, was big enough. She and and from an English medium school in Lahore. Mm. Amazingly, a woman with immense talent. Mm. She could stitch, cook, do anything mm. that could be done to because my first 10 years uh, in uh, six seven years in school was mm. horrific I had not seen money our, our chauffeur mm. that I talked about mm. he stayed with us 10 years after we had lost our last car wow. in the hope that we could It'll recover get so he would live with us without a salary okay. and every day get on his bicycle and take my two sisters and myself to school That's so sweet of and then come back mm. because we didn't even have money to for the bus, bus to bus. go to school I didn't see coins for okay. a long, very long. long time Talk, Tell me more about this driver, did he make a difference in your life? He is the father figure in my life Okay, so that see, someone influenced Yes. You. and sometimes people who you don't even expect can he, touch he your to, heart He used to call me Patunga Okay. I think in Pashto it means Dear child, or something I don't know. Okay. A loved one, dear one. Something like that. Mm -hmm. But his name was Yar Khan Afridi. Mm. And he stayed with us without a salary. That's selfless, right? For maybe 12 years. Mm. Till he lost his mind. Did you realize at that age that he was selflessly doing something for you? Yes, I did. So good. So that value must have been inside you. The last you. time I met him, he came to after my wedding mm. to see Nargis. Okay. That I didn't see him after, after that. that. Mm. He had a big effect on my life because I never saw him in any other way except smiling mm. or laughing. He would sit down by the road while we were going to school and help me with my homework and all that. Wow. Great man. And he lost his mind. I remember that day. He came out and he, he was deranged. You can imagine he had not been to his family in his loyalty to us. Wow. And that's the day he realized this is a lost cause. So still deep hurt inside but still having a smile on the yes, face. Yes, yes, so yes. the one personality that we can learn off from, right? Who are your siblings? How many siblings do you have? I have a sister, one year old, who is in a very serious stage of dementia, lives in a home in the Netherlands. Okay, so she's older than you. One year older than me, my closest sibling. Okay. I have an eldest sister mm. who's in Karachi, okay. married to her, um, I could say, boyfriend when she was in masters in journalism an Indian immigrant who came from Bhopal in 1965 wow. and the war broke out and he never he could he never go, go back, back. <laughs> so uh, and the ma and the wedding took place on December 3rd okay. 1971 the day the India Pakistan war took place mm. wow you still remember historical the, date yeah for a wedding. So, mm. so she's in Karachi uh, both her sons are also one is a journalist with Bloomberg in Turkey, the other is a journalist who's become a public relations person. Okay. Uh, but there are too, far too many journalists in my family. My okay. daughter is. It runs in the family blood, I guess. No, it's a simple thing. It's Huh? It's logical and you, have, you need to have a command over rational thinking and the language. Language is the key, I guess. Hmm. Uh, but we were... A, different type of immigrant to Pakistan because we had not come from the UP, okay. CP, Bihar. You directly came from Bombay to Pakistan. We, we came from a very urban culture to a, a wonder, so very wonderful city. Okay. Karachi was a Hindu majority city in 47. Correct. Uh, uh, to, uh, to a different extent because mm. uh, the division between the Hindus was between the Dalits that were different mm. and, and the categorizations were different. But it had a Malayali population, it mm. had a um, uh, Christian population. Uh, Goans, mm. very large Goan mm. population, Zoroastrians, um, Malabaris. I still remember 
some people who spoke Kokani and others who spoke Portuguese okay. in Karachi. <laughs> Thank you.